hello everyone welcome to my channel now in this video i am going to discuss the chapter reoptics and optical instruments i understand this that you have already studied this chapter in your school or in your coaching institutes or tuition centers but in this video i am going to highlight the few important points from ncrt textbook which you must not miss out okay in case you have already thorough of the ncrt textbook in that case this video will not be that useful for you okay but this video i am going to shortlist those things which are quite important and those things are often missed out while studying from other reference book in case you are not following the ncrt textbook okay now ray optics chapter is based on the spectrum of light which is in the visible range so question have been asked like what is the visible range of wavelength okay so this page it is given that uh, the wavelength is visible range is from 400 nanometer okay. then in the next page that there is a definition of uh, ray of light the path is called the ray of light and the bundle is called the beam of light okay so this definition can be asked for one mark question then you have the reflection from spherical mirrors okay then this sign convention they are not going to ask any question based on sign convention but you need to know the sign convention in order to solve the numericals and also to derive the various mathematical relations okay so you need to at least once you need to go through this diagram all the sign convention have been highlighted in this diagram okay then comes the derivation for focal length of mirrors spherical mirrors okay so this the relation between the focal length and the radius of curvature this derivation may be asked you should also practice all these ray diagrams okay ray diagrams corresponding to position of object and position of image this you need to practice okay then you have this mirror equation der derivation of this mirror equation this may be asked for three marks okay so this is the derivation of the mirror, mirror equation and then the expression for magnification so this question may be asked for three marks okay now uh, examples obviously you need to go through all the examples okay but one example is very important from my personal point of view this question it's quite possible that many of you have missed out on this example you have might not have seen so, uh, this is the case where a man is running in front of a mirror spherical mirror and uh, you have to ask how fast the image and you are asked how fast the image of the jogger appear to move when jogger is 30 10 meter so you must go through this example 9.4 this is a non typical question okay you will not find this question this type of question in many books okay it's a very good question this may be asked then comes the topic refraction okay now in refraction in most of the books you will uh, read about the term refractive index okay refractive index but here they have used a term called optical density for refractive index they have used the term optical density so in examination you may be asked to define optical density or they may ask you how this optical density is different from this normal density so that is given in this para okay then you have the refraction concept and uh, the refraction concept applied to this apparent depth and real depth okay so the relation between apparent depth real depth with refractive index that is refractive index equal to mu equal to real depth by apparent depth that derivation may be asked okay then you have this concept of that when the sun rises okay but we are able to see the sunrise before the actual sunrise so what is the cause the cause is the refraction the explanation is given in this para okay this is in page number 318 then comes the topic total internal reflection very important time and again question have been asked on the concept of total internal reflection what are the conditions for total reflection uh, what are the conditions for total internal reflection or what are the essential conditions for total internal reflection okay now if the question is asked for three marks it is expected that in along with the definition you must draw this diagram okay then you have you may be asked like how will you practically demonstrate the concept of this total internal reflection so, so one practical example is given in this okay then based on total internal reflection you may be asked like how uh, explain the concept of this mirage formation okay then the why the diamonds sparkle cause of diamond sparkle why it is so brilliant then the working of the optical fibers okay 
question may be asked also like in this optical fibers uh, this the inner part is called core and the outer part is cladding so which has higher refractive index question may be asked for, from that also reasoning type question also okay then you have refraction at spherical surfaces that is the lenses okay so you may be asked this question is quite common it has been asked time and again like this to prove this relation connecting the refractive index with object distance image distance and the radius of curvature okay then you have the lens makers formula okay lens makers formula and uh, there are often questions based on numerical questions are also based as on this lens makers formula okay and even there is a question in your textbook based on this uh, page number 328 example number 9.8 okay Achha. now regarding this concept of power of lens now in most of the books I mean many reference books power of the lens it is written as power is equal to reciprocal of reci power is written defined as reciprocal of focal length okay but in this in NCRT and some other standard books the it is defined as the power of a lens is defined as the tangent of the angle by which it converges or diverges a beam of light okay so this is the definition you are supposed to write if if they ask you what is defined power okay this is the thing you have to write and then you have to show that p is equal to 1 by f okay then the derivations may be asked based on this combination of thin lenses so if two thin lenses are in contact what is the equivalent focal length okay then how this equivalent focal length from this equivalent focal length how the power expression uh, what is the relation between the power and how the magnification expression is obtained those things may be asked okay then uh, this numerical is a very good numerical where you have a combination of lenses and then you have to find the position of uh, you have a combination of lenses and you are asked to find the position of the image okay position of object is given so this is a this question may not be asked but this concept is very important Co question may be asked based on this concept like if you have more than one lens and uh, object position is given and you are asked to find the position of image okay then you have the prism okay the prism this derivation uh, for refractive index of prism is quite common so you need to practice this and this graph is also very important wherein you need to understand the concept of angle of minimum deviation relation between angle of incidence and angle of emergence those things you need to brush up okay then the concept of this dispersion by a prism how the prism disperses light okay then based on this concept you have a question in the, the, in the exercise question number 9.23 like how this a combination of prism deviates light white light without dispersion and disperses light without deviation okay so this question is based on the concept of dispersion and deviation this is a very important question okay then you have some natural phenomena based on sunlight like formation of rainbow question can be asked formation of primary rainbow formation of secondary rainbow okay then scattering of light what is the cause of scattering of light Rayleigh scattering law scattering inversely proportional to fourth power of wavelength you must not miss out this thing okay they may ask you for one mark what is the Rayleigh scattering law so Rayleigh scattering is scattering is inversely proportional to fourth power of wavelength okay then optical instruments the human eye okay so what are the components of the human eye what is the function of each component those things are given here then in addition to the defects okay you need to understand the function of the components of the eye okay defects of vision it is important but go through the components also and then all the defects including uh, presbyopia astigmatism okay then go through the examples so these are standard examples those examples you must go through these examples okay then you have the microscope optical instruments you must not neglect okay definitely there will be a question based on optical instruments there is a very high probability okay optical instruments like for compound microscope you need to find the magnification at least distance of distinct vision and also at infinity similarly for telescope okay astronomical telescope then uh, in the Assam High Secondary Council examination in 2017 I guess there was a question like what is the main consideration for 
astronomical telescope for I guess it was for two mass question so here the answer is the main consideration for astronomical telescope is the light gathering power and its resolution or re resolving power like if you haven't studied this statement okay then you will not be able to answer that question so you must go through you must not miss out such informations okay so then the advantage of this reflecting telescope over refracting telescope that is also given here so you must go through that also okay then the summary part this summarizes the summary part go through once okay points to ponder also don't just go through those, those all those points try out all the numericals okay now some of the numericals like this numerical is you will find standard numerical in many questions question, question banks this numerical you will find in many question banks whether it is a CBC question bank or state board question banks so this question is important they may ask you for this question for five marks with regard to the questions in the exercise I guess you must not leave any questions okay you must try all the questions so this is the thing which I wanted to highlight like so that you must may not miss anything from the NCRT textbook if this video is beneficial to you do uh, post your comments so that I can give such videos based on other chapters also so my best wishes to you for your board examinations good luck